For any perfect competitive firm, its profit in the short run could be different than the long run. Let's start with the long run. Because any perfect competitive firm, they have standardized products, they have no barriers to entry, and they are price takers. Consequently, the profit in the long run will be zero economic profit or normal profit, which means price will be equal to average total cost. Consequently, our profit will be equal to zero. This profit is called economic profit, and that's why we call it zero economic profit or normal profit. Consequently, firms will either enter the market or leave the market until we reach our zero economic profit in the long run. But in the short run, we could have one of the three scenarios. Either price is bigger than average total cost, or price equal to average total cost, or price is lower than average total cost. If price is bigger than average total cost, our economic profit is bigger than zero. That's why we call it economic profit or super normal profit or abnormal profit. If price is equal to average total cost, it means that our economic profit is equal to zero. That's why we call it zero economic profit or normal profit. If our price is lower than average total cost, it means that our profit will be lower than zero. Consequently, we make a loss. Consequently, if the firm in a perfect competition in the short run makes economic profit or abnormal profit or super normal profit, this will encourage new firms to enter the market because we don't have any barriers to entry. And if a firm in a perfect competition creates massive losses in the short run, so this means that these companies will leave the market. They will exit the market in the long run.